All right, Brandon here, and I'm back. We're trying to finish up this before the old sun goes down. A long day at work. We're trying to squeeze some time in on the arc. All right, so here's a short recap. We have uh, 4,200 watts of solar on top of the RV. This is the mini spit concealed duct that we have in the front of the RV. Here is the return duct. We put underneath there using a K and N filter, which is pretty awesome, by the way. And this is the back side of the arc. This is, excuse the dirt, by the way, but this is where we're gonna be mounting the frame and the two mini split outside units. Oh, this is one happy guy right here. This is the day we I received the 9,000 BTU 25 sear Senville unit. It is a ceiling cassette unit single zone outdoor and this is the the weird thing it was covered with carpet but it was up on our ceiling and this is cut it in half get it out of there get it down Wyatt did a great job helping me out after I welded up the frame and get her connected and we were just double checking everything it does have framing back behind it and here we are mounting up and setting the setting the old Simfield outside unit on there this is the ceiling cassette unit as it went through the ceiling of our bedroom. About a 24 by 24 hole or thereabouts. And uh, put oh, a cover God. on it. Is got my panel back up. You see how nasty them things are? Believe it or not, I had 67 amps coming in today. Off them dirty old panels. So, anyway. But, regardless, you see here we've got... The box is finished. We see there's our 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 high and low AC lines and our drain, and we got the boxes installed. It's all mudded in real good, sealed up, ain't going nowhere, isn't going to leak. So now we got to take this line here, and we're going to thread it. Let me see if I can get this off. Hold on. Oh, set, set set the phone down right there. This is our intake for the uh, for the engine. We've got a rear engine, 6092 or Detroit, and uh, so that's a big intake. So I'm going to use that use that intake, and I'm going to send this wire down through that hole. And I'm going to send our our drain line down through that hole, and I'm going to send our uh, our high and low AC lines down through that hole. Man, it's gonna work out perfect because they're gonna go down through that hole and then they're coming way through there behind the, the mirror, behind the bed, and uh, they're gonna come out right there. Yes, that is a dryer exhaust vent, but it's gonna be a weather head for our hoses coming out, our wire coming out, and the drain will be coming out right there. So, pretty cool. And once I get done with this, uh, maybe I'll wash off them nasty panels. So we've got all those there. That's 4,200 watts. And if you can see over there, we've got a bunch more over there, and those are on tilt. So they're supposed to follow the sun, but if you can see where we're at, we're surrounded by trees, and our best light is between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock because all these trees. So... I don't have them moving. Not much sense in them moving around or anything. So, and, and then we've got the deployable down there. The, and that's the 865 watts, I believe. I may be wrong. I am wrong. Yeah, that's not that much. Anyway, just uh, update what we're doing and uh, stay tuned. I'm hoping to get all this wired up and running tonight. Praise the Lord. All right, continue on. Bye-bye. All right, here it is, the big finale. Well, I've got a lot of trim work to finish up. I've got to retrim all this out and uh, pull those screws out. And we're covering the ceiling. Yeah, so all this carpet stuff will be covered up. But everything is all done. Power's on. Plumbing is all ran. All the, all the AC lines are ran. The drain lines are ran. And all we have to do is test her out, fire it up. So I want to show you first. It's uh, 
right there, I'm gonna go off that point right there on the air conditioner it is 71.4 degrees. And it is, well, let's see, 9.33. So, moment of truth, three, two, one. Okay, that's kind of weird. The remote that came with the Sinville also turns on our window unit. Both of them, that's weird. So that's an Arctic King brand window unit. And this is the Sinville brand. So let me turn this off. Window unit's a lot louder than what that is. So this is running, boy, it's blowing pretty hard too. Running full blast, pretty weird. See the remote? It says Sinville on the bottom. There's no wall unit or anything that this comes with. It comes with just the remote. And uh, I still haven't figured out all the, everything about it. And that must be the receiver part for the remote. Yeah, about that, the uh, window unit's got the same same type of receiver there. So, but it is running. I didn't hear anything kick on or anything. The you know, as as you know, on the other side of that back wall there is the outside unit mounted on the wall on the back side. So, didn't hear it kick on or anything. But I can feel that it is blowing cold air, so and we'll, we'll test it with the old deal there. Oh, yeah, look at there. It is, it's already got, what did it say? 56 degree air coming out of that already. And it's set on 62. Set on 62, on high on cool and I've already got cold, cold air coming out of it. There's 56, 54, 52, 51. So I'd say it's a success and it is working. Praise God, that is fantastic. So so now we gotta do all the little detail work, finish the trim, we gotta put the door back on here. Uh, outside work is pretty much all done. I can double check and make sure everything's all right, but but there it is. A Sinville 9000 BTU ceiling cassette unit installed in our RV. 1987 Vogue 3, 40 foot. So pretty cool, pretty exciting. And my wife has already said we're probably going to need another fan because we sure did like the noise of the window unit. And you can tell this is really quiet in comparison. So. All right, this is Brandon again. I know it's late, but I wanted to give an update from the outside. And there is the new unit. It is running full blast. It's like 65, down to 65. It was 71 when I first turned it on. Got to 65 real quick in the back, but uh, I got it set on 62, so it's still running full blast on turbo mode. And you want to listen to see how loud it is? You hear it? <laughs> it's quiet. So it's almost too quiet. We we sure like our noisy uh, air conditioner at night, and. This isn't going to do it. We'll probably have to have, to have a fan on just for some noise. But uh, it's working great, and pray it just keeps on working great. So I've got the, the new unit running in back. It's running full blast. And it is only pulling 7 to 8 amps at 44 volts. So that's uh, pretty impressive. It's about what the front one does. It's a 12,000. BTU and so the back one's a 9000. So pretty similar how much power they pull. Awesome. From our Magnum inverter, we see we're sucking 10.8 amps off just the rear 
and it's turned on the front one and it was up to 18 for both of them there you have it there you are god bless and god ventures thanks for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff share and uh see you down the road bye